Hello everybody, welcome back to our channel and thanks for tuning in. Time to time the price of gold experienced these massive pullbacks with no fundamental or reasonable explanation. Often these significant price drops happen in strange hours on Sunday night or before the market opens for trade on early Mondays. The massive volume such as the flash sell-off of 5 billion few days ago on Sunday 6 am has no other explanation than market manipulation. How come the market could absorb 5 billion in gold contracts when it's not even open for trade yet? Going back few days on the week before the flash crash, gold was already weak on Wednesday, but nothing abnormal, nothing to be concerned about. Gold was still trading at $1,835 an ounce, then Friday came along and gold price was still above $1,800. However, Positive economic news that came on Friday with better than expected job numbers, raising wages and unemployment numbers also dropping, pushed the price of gold $40 lower. It was a big drop, but a normal price pullback due to positive economic news. As I have been trading metals for a while, I have seen gold dropping price on positive economic news many times before. Consequently, I knew that gold would bounce back this $40 in one or two weeks. But then on Sunday, which is really strange because gold trades from Monday to Friday, despite the market being closed for trade, 5 billion in gold future contracts were sold, smashing the price of gold $100 lower than it was already on Friday. It was really a flash crash in a matter of minutes, and at the bottom of the crash gold was priced at $1,677. At this specific time, I was awake and when I noticed the drop, I tried to do some online shopping for gold. I was looking for large gold bars, as in my mind, $1,677 for an ounce of gold is really a bargain. But of course, the online dealers were still trading gold at the closing price on Friday, because gold doesn't trade on the weekends. Well. Gold doesn't trade on weekends, at least for us, but as we can see, the market's open for manipulation 24-7. We know that manipulation in gold and silver prices happen through the paper market. This is no news. There are no paper markets of future contracts for metals such as palladium and rhodium and look at their prices. It's just so much harder to manipulate them. Therefore, an ounce of rhodium cost staggering $17,000. So imagine how much an ounce of gold could cost without this paper market manipulation. As mentioned, we know gold and silver prices manipulation exists as big banks have been fined for it over and over again and they assume the wrongdoing. But the flash crash Sunday was so clear that it seems that the manipulators either don't really care anymore or they are truly desperate. A reason behind the theory that banks are so desperate with the price of gold is due to Basel III. According to Basel III, banks are now required to have 85% of physical gold to back their unallocated gold trading. So the theory is that all these banks now have to buy physical gold to be in compliance with Basel III. So they would push the price of gold down as they need to increase their holdings of physical metal. So the idea is easy to understand. Banks sell the paper gold, bring the price down, and once the price is down, they buy the real asset, the physical gold. No wonder why the crash and the bounce back on Sunday night happened in less than 15 minutes. Gold did not bounce all the way back in 15 minutes, but it recovered a big chunk of the loss, and one week later, gold was already 1% higher than it was on the previous Friday before the job numbers came out. So from Friday to Friday, it feels like the $100 crash on Sunday night never happened, but it did. We know it happened and this was obvious uh, market manipulation. When you sell something, you want to get the best possible price for it, correct? So why would you sell 5 billion in gold when the price was already down? And why would you sell when there is nobody around, there is no buyers around on Sunday night? So I believe that on Friday, before the crash, when the employment numbers pushed the price of gold down, it was a little too much, gold was oversold right there. And I was right, gold dropped more than it should on the news, but that was already a reaction of, let's say, the manipulators community, knowing that something bigger was coming on the weekend. 
theories of Basel III or not, the obvious explanation is that some government or bank wanted the price of gold down and for this reason they manipulate the price when nobody was around. Probably in few months we'll hear the same excuse that some big fund had margin calls, consequently had to liquidate some assets, in this case gold. We might also hear the argument that we hold gold because it's an insurance, rather than the truth that all gold bugs want to hear, we buy gold because we expect the price to go higher. Central banks are buying gold and gold at this price level is very cheap. When all assets in the world have been going up pretty much every day around the world, with the exception of gold and silver, then we know something is wrong. You can come with the argument of all the money printing, government debts, inflation, I know them all. The price of gold should be going up, but it isn't, it's going down. But more the price of gold and silver are suppressed, more they will rise whenever this is over. Manipulation cannot last forever. Prices can be manipulated up or down. If they are manipulated up, at the end of the manipulation, they will go down to a fair value. But when the prices are manipulated down like gold and silver, at the end of the manipulation they will have to go up. The conclusion is, over the past 12 months the price of gold has gone down from almost $2,100 to around $1,750. Silver from nearly $30 an ounce to today's price of $23. Tell me another asset that has fallen in price over 12 months period with all the money being printed and everything that's going on. I want the price of gold and silver to go up as much as everyone else watching this video, but the gold bull market is clearly being kept on a leash. Other than that, the main problem that gold has right now is that the economy numbers are positive, regardless that these numbers are being compared with the last year when the world was in lockdown. Behind the scenes, China and Russia are accumulating more gold at cheap price. I wouldn't be surprised if China has manipulated the gold price last Sunday. Let me know what you think and write your comments on the section below. This will complete the video for today. Thanks for watching, protect your wealth, stay safe, take care. Thank <laughs> you.